Trisha Cullip and the Rocket said time and time again before their WNIT opener, and they reiterated it again tonight. Not getting into the NCAA tournament was crushing, but it also motivated them to come out and play against Houston Baptist in a way that proved to the selection committee that they deserve to be one of the 68 teams in the big dance. I don't think I've ever had a loss that hit that hard in a long time, so... I just remember feeling after the game like hopeless and I was mad at first. I feel like I went through the stages of grief for a moment, but um, definitely, like I mentioned, like being able to get the opportunity, it woke me up and I was like, okay, like we got to prove ourselves, you know. Now we just have to kind of show ourselves, you know, after that loss uh, in the tournament, you know, it hit us kind of different. So we just use that as motivation every day. It's disappointing when you've worked months, not just days, months for something and it doesn't materialize. Uh, but I'm really proud of this group because I think it takes some maturity to have that big of a blow and then to dust yourself off and get back up and show some strong character and be ready to play. The Rockets had four players in double figures led by freshman Jess Cook with 13. Kara Goss provided a spark. She finished one shy for career high with 12 points on six of seven shooting from the field. I was just feeling good today, making sure that I'm what the team needs, you know, um, picking up where we slack, obviously. And I was just feeling really ready today. I'm excited uh, to get the opportunity to play in the WNIT. You know, not everybody gets that, like Nan said, so I want to come out with some fire. Houston Baptist cut the Toledo lead to single digits several times over the second and third quarter, led by Dee Collins, who was tied for a game-high 13 points. But she was held scoreless over the final 10 minutes after the Toledo coaching staff challenged the players to step up defensively. Just making sure we knew our scout. I think we kind of went out there and weren't 100% sure. Um, you know, she knocked down some shots heck of a player. Um, you know, we just had to adjust and figure out what we were doing wrong. Sophia Wire said before the tournament started that the Rockets had set a new goal, and that was to win 30 games. With their win tonight, they improved to 27 and 5 on the season. Waiting for them in the next round of the WNIT is Kent State, a familiar Mac foe. At Savage Arena, Dorian Kraft, BCSN.